beautiful day down here at the beach, sir. Welcome everybody. This is your boy Al. Fishing with Big Al. Welcome to my channel. Hey, 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 what's up and good morning. This is your boy Al, AKA Fishing with Big Al. And this morning I am up, it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm up because it's gonna be um, another fishing expedition going on and we're gonna take it down to the pins. So that's gonna be the Padre Island. That's the seashore going down and we're gonna see if we can get into some, uh, some more Pompano and whatever else. Pompano is my main target. I love the uh, action that's going on right now with that. So um, hopefully the sea state is going to be better than it than it's been. We had the hurricane come through, so um, you know peace to all of all the cities and the states that got hit by this past hurricane that just came through. It was uh, devastating uh, to see homes that used to be just flattened and wiped out. Man, it's it's crazy how Mother Nature can just everything you built your whole life and then in one day, um, no matter how long it's been, but just in one time and one day. Just flatten everything, man. So hopefully everybody can uh, get back on their feet. Uh, those that lost loved ones, rest in peace. Uh, God bless. Uh, but anyway, getting to the fishing part, uh, that's what's going on right now. Uh, we're going to be going down, like I said, down the pins, checking it out. Uh, going to probably have to weigh it out, get past the guts. Um, we're going to be using again. We're going to be using the, uh, where we at? We're going to be using two. Well, it should be three, but I think I left the other one in the truck. But anyway, we're going to be using uh, Easy Shrimp for sure. So we're going to be using Easy Shrimp for the green fish bites. And then we're also going to be using a pink for the Easy Shrimp green fish bite. These are going to be good for grabbing anything as far as whiting, uh, red drum, red drum, black drum, things like that. The green also does the same thing. But lately, using these, it's just been a bunch of... Uh, why didn't being caught and then baby black drum when the black when the big black drums get in yeah that's when it's gonna really be on and popping for the uh for the fish down there with these fish bites for that time but anyway the main focus is going to be the pompano again and like i said i'm going to be using sand flea that's in my truck thought i had it with me but it's in my truck if you don't know anything about the sand flea this particular bait for some reason seems to just grab the pompano I guess because uh, Berkeley know what they're doing. Oh, who made these things, man? Look at that Berkeley. Who made these? I can't even see who, who's uh, who's responsible, man. It just says Fish Bites. Made in U.S. St. Augustine, Florida. That's where they're made from. So, uh, But yeah, these really work, man. They really do work. And it's just on with these with this bait. Um, you can get some dead shrimp. You can get some live shrimp if you choose and put shrimp on the back of these just in case. Uh, but the reason I like it because even if you use the shrimp, once something comes by, say like something steals your shrimp and takes it. Well, with the fish bite, you don't have to worry about that happening just as fast. It's going to be either they're going to hit it hard or it's going to be even if something is messing with it. Something may come and grab a piece of it and then keep on going and then something big may come behind it. That, that may have ran that small one off and then he sees it and he's going to come and grab it because he's seen the small one eating on something so now he's going to want to know what it was he's eating on and luckily or uh, hopefully he'll grab the fish bite and I've had that happen where, where I've seen something nibble on it and then all of a sudden my rod just bent over like something else just came and grabbed it so um, that is going to be the bait of choice again 
I may get some dead shrimp. I may get some live. I don't know. Even if they got shrimp, I don't even know if they got been able to get shrimp because of the hurricane weather and how bad the water was out there, how serious it was. But yesterday, it looked like it calmed down. I went out to the uh, jetties and checked it out. And they were hitting reds down at the end. Um, if you had mullet, it seemed like the reds were running. Um, but the only thing was for me, for what I wanted, the action I wanted, the um, the edges of the of the surf was still just not where I wanted it to be. It was out too far still. And you had slack water coming up, but it was almost like you were not in a good depth of water. You would have to walk out some to get to where, where it was really deep at. So... That is going to be the focus this morning. But yeah, I'm up because I want to make sure I get my breakfast in me, get my coffee in me, uh, my water before I get ready to leave. Because pens, once you get down there, like I said, it's over. Once you get down there, that's it. There, You got to have everything with you that you're going to take with you because there's nothing in range. Yeah, I mean, I think you even lose phone service. I've done that where I've gone down so far and you lose phone service. So yeah, that's going to be the plan for this morning. It's Sunday. Um... October the 2nd, it's uh, between 3 and 4 in the morning, and we up, baby, and like we always say, and like we always do, fish on, baby, keep them lines tight, and everybody enjoy your day, peace. What's going on, y'all, how you doing, what's up, this is your boy Al, aka Fishing with Big Al, and welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, um, I want to say it's October the 2nd, so it's a beautiful day to be waking up, another beautiful day out here on, on Pins, which is Padre Island National Seashore came down some good ways to get into some fish hopefully have a good day of it um i'm gonna let y'all check out this sunrise man because it is a beautiful morning it's cloudy we got a good cloud coverage going on the winds are uh, probably about a good five to six miles an hour with nothing heavy but you can see what's happening right now is going on with the water this is from the remnants of the hurricane right now that was here uh the water starting to flatten back out and it looked like it can be a good day with fishing but i'm not really sure i'm gonna have to walk out some ways because you can see right here looking at the waves as you're looking you can see right there where it's breaking that and this is all um right here this water is kind of shallow so this is a shallow area right here and i'm gonna have to walk out to get into the deep water so i'm gonna be walking out cast out i got some size sixes uh using my surf rods today let me uh move over to them i will be using my two boys right here number one and number two these are my surf rods i'm going to be using 12 footers with six ounce weights on them with a uh a b like get back on this sunset hopefully able to catch it but uh um, yeah this is going to be a beautiful day man with the cloud coverage and everything it may not come through like it should but that is the sun coming up over the horizon right there as we speak uh but like i said man it's going to be a day we're going to be using fish bites I got some shrimp that I'm, I'm going to be using on my green, and then I'm going to be using the other fish bites where I'm just going to be using uh, the sand flea, and hopefully it may be some pompano out here messing around. And uh, I don't see a lot of birds. We got some in the water, but I don't see too many. They're out a little bit further, and uh, hopefully um, it just comes out to be a good day. So with that said, Let's go ahead and get this thing going, man. And like we always do, man, fish on, baby. Let's have some fun. God bless. I hope everybody's enjoying that day and uh, getting ready to start their day the way they want to, whatever your plans are. Enjoy it. Like I always tell people, man, ride that lane and don't let nobody take you out of it. Let's have some fun. Peace. It's going to be, like I said, fish bites. We got the easy flea. We got easy shrimp. Hopefully this is coming through. And we got Easy Shrimp Green. So this is Power Line right here. Uh, so we're gonna be using this real quick. And I'm gonna be using one of my last piece that I got right here, which is Easy Shrimp Power Line. Uh, you can tell the color, difference in the color just from a week of me having this. This is just a week. You see how different the color is? So yeah, I think the biggest thing to keep this thing good is uh, keeping them refrigerated. So I've been keeping them in the house with the AC instead of keeping them in my garage because i noticed if i keep them in the garage it seems like that the uh color changes uh from the heat probably drain drying it out so uh yeah so I'll try to go with another another approach in order to keep this fresh so i'm gonna put a little small piece on because like i said i got shrimp so let's see what happens that was a fun today man you gotta have some fun enjoy your life Depending on where you're at in your life, 
if you having some bad times, man, fight through it. So like I say, I fought through mine. I don't tell all my true stories, but believe me, I got some. So this is the time of it though that I'm enjoying it. But yeah, man, this is real beautiful. You can see that sunrise right there. All that, look at that sun coming through the clouds on the spectrum. So, but look, a lot of birds flying through. So they get caught up on your line too. They don't just hit it and keep going. Sometimes the wings get caught right in this line. So hopefully that doesn't happen, man. Last week, I had two that got caught up on my line and it wasn't nothing nice. So let's hope for the best. Check out that sun now. Coming through, coming through. So right now the fish not doing what I need to do, but that's a beautiful sun, man. Coming through that cloud, that's cool. I'm just having fun watching this happen right now. So. But hopefully get some fish on because I'm down here. Let's do it. So here's what's going to be a problem today. It seemed like early on right now, I've already cast out both lines and my other reel came in with even more than this. But this seemed like it's going to be the issue. So this might be the factor that caused me to have to get up out of here because I'm going to cast it out one more time. And I already figured it out. But since I'm here, I got to see just to make sure that, you know, just because you got seaweed, that does not mean every time you cast, it's going to happen. But I think the answer is already clear because I got it on both lines already. So it may be one of them deals where it's not going to be a good day. Um, I don't know if it's going to take me to lighten up the tackle. But with that, that's not going to help either because light tackle just means I'm going to move down the, uh, ch the channel and the coast even faster and further without a, a nice weight to keep me intact. So with this water moving the way it is, the seaweed is getting onto the line and that can be a bad deal that's not fun so this might be an early morning shutdown to it moved to somewhere else i'm trying to figure out why i'm doing that trying to figure out where else to go man these old stupid flies man all this land out here and these flies there's some flies i know y'all know about them. little green flies <laughs> i think worse than mosquitoes when they land on you so yeah, this video right now ain't about catching fish, man, because ain't no fish coming in. It's just a seaweed action right now. So see what's going to happen. I'm going to cast out again and see what takes place. And see if I may need to shorten it a little bit and see if that, if that helps some. If I shorten it, will that bring in? Some fish may be out here on the edge. So I'm going to do a short cast and see what happens. Like I said, I caught that whiting right in here. So never know. That is a nice size pompano right there. That is what we came to get. This is the size I'm looking for right here. These are, they're, they're, they're close to being the play size, but this is it right here. So if I can get some more of these guys, yeah, this is gonna be on and popping for day. Boom. Uh. So, number one, let's do it. <laughs> 